started in 1982 behind one of these bars here when it first opened with um, Elton John at the concert hall side. I, do, I work front of house at the moment with my colleagues and, and we practically do this with open and close and, and everything else. So we're, we're classed as front of house assistants, front of house doorman, but I also like to play, I also do the piano just before the show. So it's like pre-show piano just for an hour sometimes, mainly matinees. But there was one incident when I was just finishing work and I was going down towards the stage door and I walked past the wardrobe and I could smell somebody who I thought was ironing. So I looked back and I saw what I thought was like a woman <laughs> dressed in black top to bottom, seriously, and just ironing away. She didn't look up or anything, so I moved on thinking, oh, that's just... And I walked back. But you could still smell the ironing. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't smell the ironing. Now, I mean, there's two areas in which we think... I, I, I mean, whether you believe it or not, whether you believe in ghosts, but there's management area where Charles O'Neill, Jimmy Ashworth, and all the um, duty managers of the past um, used to work. And I'm sure, I'm convinced, that they sometimes walk around, because Jimmy's no longer with us. He was a, one of the directors. But um, I can take you back to Barry Stead days, when Elton John opened up and he turned on the light. But out there, there was a like a, two rivers of uh, tube lights and uh, Elton John opened it and he shook everyone's hand very very nice guy but in the Theatre Royal side they've had so many good artists but my favourite person that ever came and in actual fact was last year mm -hmm. um, David Suchet he did um, PR for his book and he wasn't expecting many people to turn up, but over a thousand people turned up. And he did this talk about his book and talked about Poirot, and then came out afterwards to sign books. You should have seen the queue. And that's one of my favorite, because his face himself, he was so pleased with what had just happened. Agatha Christie did come here. And Agatha Christie liked the Theatre Royal in Nottingham. And that's where she, um, that's where it was previewed, the mousetrap in the Theatre Royal. And she sat in the stalls and she said this was her lucky theatre. So he, li he liked the idea of that. He's coming back. He likes this theatre, obviously. And he's going to appear in um, The Importance of Being Earnest. But the ironic thing is he's playing Lady Bratton. <laughs> Nottingham has always been good for previews because of the audiences, and they, I think the audiences are either more appreciative, or I don't know, but Nottingham seems a good city for that. I like, I like the shows, obviously, but there's so much more to it. And it's just a, it's memories, you know. You, 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 you look at the bars, and then I moved to playing just the piano, and I did that full time in the early 90s. Mm -hmm.